okay so we start our next problem uh, it says which one of the following graphs is not planar okay so we are given these four graphs g1 g2 g3 and g4 and out of these four graphs three are planar and one is not planar and we have to tell which of these four graphs is not planar we have to tell which is the graph that is not planar okay and, and what do we mean by planar graphs a graph is planar when we can draw it on a plane in such a manner that the edges don't cross okay so out here you can see the edges are crossing okay these edges are crossing in all of these graphs you can see that the edges are crossing okay you see that there is a crossing out here you see the crossing okay so so what you have to do you have to find a way of drawing so that the edges don't cross okay and when you will do that out of these four graphs for three graphs you will be able to find a way such that the edges don't cross and for one of these graphs no matter how you will draw that graph the edges will always cross okay so I'm going to start with G4 and I'll just draw the corresponding graph just below these graphs so I'm going to redraw G4 in a way such that the edges don't cross okay so how many vertices are there in G4 there are there are five vertices okay so this is the first vertex this is the second vertex this is the third vertex this is the f this is the f fourth vertex and this is the fifth vertex okay and then what I'm going to do I'm going to just complete these connections okay this one this one this one and this one which you see they are already there so far nothing crosses so far it is fine none of the edges are crossing and then what I am going to do you see inside this graph there are these edges that have a possibility of crossing okay so what I am going to do is I am going to draw it like this okay so this edge I draw in the same way okay this one okay this one I draw just as it is there and then I draw this one just as it is there okay so just like this okay so how many edges are left okay so so which which edges are left okay so this one we we have drawn and this one we have drawn so we are left with this one okay we are left with this and this so there is this edge is like this so instead of drawing this edge like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it from the outside like this okay and then again instead of drawing this edge like this I'm going to draw it from the outside like this okay so this is planar okay this is G4 and it is planar we know that this is planar because we can draw it in this manner and we see that none of the edges cross okay now we come to g3 okay g3 is pretty simple i i redraw the the word the graph so these are the vertices i'm drawing okay so these are fine and i do the same thing i complete the cycle okay so i complete the cycle out there and i can even draw this okay so so far it's fine okay then inside this i have two more edges and what I can do out here is quite simple I think everybody can see I can draw this one like this and the other edge that is supposed to go like this instead of drawing it like this I can draw this one like this okay so this is also fine this is G3 this is fine too and then what I do is I come to G2 so G2 has six vertices okay so first I draw those vertices vertex 1 vertex 2 vertex 3 vertex 4 vertex 5 and this is the six vertex and I, I do the same thing I I sort of complete my this cycle this outer cycle that I have okay and then what I'm going to do is you have these edges inside this cycle okay all these edges so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw this one and this one and this one because they don't cross okay these three don't cross so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
go this way then come this way and then go this way. this is fine now I'm left with you see these two edges I'm I'm left with two more edges and this is one of them and this is the other one okay so these ones will come from outside like this and this one will come from here like this okay and so G2 also I can draw like a graph okay uh, sorry you know like a planar graph uh, it had a lot of edges so it, it looked complicated that maybe we won't be able to draw it like a planar graph but it turns out we can okay so we are left with G1 alone and uh, so obviously that is our that must be our answer because that is the only one we are left with so uh, and what happens in this case is no matter how you try to draw G1 okay suppose I construct these these vertices okay I am drawing these vertices and no matter what happens no matter how you try to draw them you will always have a have them crossing each other okay so what can you do okay you can also you have like three more edges left after completing this cycle you have these three edges left okay this one and this one and this one is left okay so no matter what you do okay there's always going to be a crossing like suppose suppose I draw this edge like this okay and then I'm left with two edges okay two more edges okay so this one and this one so these can't go from inside because otherwise they will intersect with these one so these two remaining edges they have to go from outside so suppose one of them you you draw from outside like this okay to avoid in crossing this yellow edge okay but then what happens is you still need to join this one and this one okay and you cannot go from inside because you will cross with this and you cannot go from outside because then you will end up crossing with this okay so this one is G1 and you know it's you cannot draw it in a plane so okay you will always end up having this crossing okay so this one is not planar okay G1 is not planar. Okay.